That'd be fun. Can you name all the Kardashians? I think I incorrectly uh, guessed Charlotte. And, Charlotte. <laughs> and, my, and I guess the mom's name is Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Twerk Ethics Show. Go Nate. 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 <laughs> Twerk Ethic. What are we watching? Twerk Ethic. The best show on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Twerk Ethics Show. We're here again, Cooley. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cooley is your name. Yes. My name is JT. Don't wear it out. <laughs> we are the host of a weekly podcast mm-hmm. and YouTube channel mm-hmm. um, and a bunch of little TikTok Instagram, mm-hmm. YouTube shorts videos. TikTok, knickknack, paddywhack. Give, give a, a dog, dog a bone. bone. Uh, this old man came rolling <laughs> home. Yeah. And I, for one, I'm, I'm glad everyone's here. Yeah, me too. Um, we've been going on this episode 78 now. Mm-hmm. I feel like things are feeling more and more natural and smooth and organic. You know, farm, yeah, farm to podcast, <laughs> right? You know, mm-hmm. farm to podcast table, boom. It's just it's getting authentic. I'd like to welcome Adele <laughs> here. Thanks again, Dale, uh, for the podcast. People to our left is the Adele monitor, dude. Can't believe you got Adele. I know, and. On Hello, the- friends. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Where's she from? I don't know. Sugar Hill? Yeah. <laughs> uh, somewhere in England. Mm-hmm. Or in London. Well, yeah, you somewhere know. in the country. Whatever. She's got a little twang. She does. Got an English twang. Mm-hmm. I watched her um, 73 Questions. You, have you ever seen that on YouTube? Mm. I've never seen it. Um, it's not great no so i'm not i don't i'm not trying to hype it up but it is good okay um i take celebrities half of them you're interested in half of them are people like i can't think of their names kardashians no that'd be fun can you name all the kardashians i think i incorrectly Uh, guessed charlotte and charlotte (laughs) and and I guess the mom's <laughs> name is Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the mom, Chris. Yeah. Well, I don't know her, but I know the, her name, Chris. Then there's obviously Kim. Yeah, I, of course I know Kim. I know Kim and Chloe. Chloe, yeah. But outside of that, I know there's like a like a Kimberly or a Ken, Kendall. Yes, Kendall, Kendall Jenner. Mm-hmm. And a Kylie. Yeah. Um. She was, I think she was the youngest billionaire. It's crazy. Ridiculous. And no one would read her book. (laughs) Uh, No offense to her. She's already got a billion. No offense to her, but. No, it was funny because I was like, I remember trying, like, I could not name all of them. Oh, yeah. And it looked like I was doing it on purpose to be cool or whatever, but like, I'm not kidding. I just have never paid attention to them outside of Kim. Because Kim is super famous. Yeah. And she's super hot, too. Cute music. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music are we talking about? Um, <clears throat> the music that gets you introduced to Kim Kardashian. Oh. Are you cheating on Sandra Bullock? No. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, no, Kim's just hot. Okay. She's not your number one of all time. No. No, she's probably 
She's definitely top five, but she's not number one. Okay. That belongs to Sandra. Yeah. Obviously. You're Sandra. Mm-hmm. Well, I wish I could. There was another name that I I guessed that yeah. I wish Sarah Carter could probably remember. Like, just that I guessed was a Kardashian, and I was convinced, and she was like, dude, that is not. <laughs> I think it might have been Charlotte. Sarah. Yeah. I think it was like Char- Charlotte Kardashian. Charlotte. Charles a good one. <laughs> anyway, so uh, speaking of my wife, uh, I told you this yesterday. I kind of ruined the surprise, but I'll tell you again. Oh yeah, on air. We. I'll act surprised. Yeah, Go ahead, tell me. Pretend that I've never told you this. Okay. Um, we watched Twister, not the game, the movie. <laughs> right. We played Twister while we were, <laughs> we're watching, watching Twister. Twister. <laughs> yeah. A twister and theme we night. did tongue twisters. <laughs> oh, at the nice. same time. Yes. Now we watched Twister for the first time. Okay. Not me. I've seen Twister probably not not as much as you. I've probably seen Twister like five times. Okay. Um, yeah, I've definitely seen it more than that. And she had never seen it. And she was oh she gosh. suggested it. And I was like, Yes. Yeah, heck yeah, we'll watch it. And it was dude, she loved it. That's awesome. It's it a was, great movie. It was awesome. And we actually, you know what? Now I'm thinking about it. We did do a tongue twister <laughs> and we were dying. It was oh, yeah. the, um, because I, I went to look up. Do you use the spotlight on your iPhone where you pull down and search and it searches all kinds of apps? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use, well, that. I found it on accident, but yeah. I use that all the time. Okay. And I searched Twister. I was looking for the movie. Yeah. Well, it found an old podcast episode of about tongue twisters <laughs> and saying toy boat three, oh, gosh. three times. Yeah. Man, we were I can't dying. Can't do it. Yeah. We were dying. Let's see if we can do it right now. <laughs> toy, toy. <laughs> I can't even say toy. Toy yeah. boat, toy boat, toy boy. Yeah. Toy, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Ooh, that's yeah. pretty good. You go. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Wow, that was amazing. I actually just amazed myself. Do it again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> now try it again. Toy boat, toy boat, toy. Nope, there it goes. Yeah, yeah it's toy boy. So I could say that really, really well. Let's make it even funnier. Okay. Take your intellect out of it. Like, okay. don't try so hard. Okay. Just, and I'll do it too, but okay. just default to like, what actually happens if you tried to say it three times fast? Oh, okay. So just get it out of my head. Yeah. Just basically clear my mind. Be stupider. Toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. Toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. Yeah. <laughs> toy boy. Yeah. All right. All right. Toy boat, toy boy, toy boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> toy boy. That last one, though, throws me off. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, yeah. what's uh, what's your favorite part of Twister, the movie? Oh, man. Uh, I I love the the funny stuff. I mean, Philip Seymour Hoffman, so good. Oh, that's that's probably the movie that I was introduced to him. Uh, was it's very Twister. different too. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, he's super funny in that. Bill Paxton is just phenomenal in it. Helen Hunt was uh kind of a crush back then too. So, and she she kills in that movie. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of good, uh, actors in that movie. Um, the, uh, video effects. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. And they still Man. hold up. Yeah. They when do. I watched it, I didn't feel like, yeah, this is, I didn't feel like, oh, this is cool because of the time they were in. It's right. Like, no, this, I still don't know how they did. It still holds up. Some man. of the debris. That you know, yeah, I know. It, it looked so real. Yeah. It was crazy. Well, we talked about this a little bit last night and the just the m- movies in the nineties, you just had to put a lot more effort into it. Yeah. If you wanted to make it look real. Yeah. And you had to use real stuff. You had to use they use, you know, wind tunnels and to make the effect and everything like that. So Yeah. Uh now that now that people don't care these days, but it's just so much easier to make things look real, you know. Well, I think obviously you can't say this for everybody. More cause technology because there, yeah. there is, um, there are great movies right now. Absolutely, but 
I think what I was saying last night and we were talking about and agreeing is that in the 90s, you could even argue the 80s, honestly, but the 90s in particular, I -hmm. felt like the story was told in a much better way. Yeah. And it was more original. Yeah. And it was told to, I don't know, it felt more like what life was like. Mm -hmm. Because everyone has this misconception that you have to be dark to be realistic. It's like, that's not true. Not everyone, like, not everyone goes through these tragic things. Right. And if they do, I don't think they really want to watch it again. No. Uh, I'm Mm -hmm. not saying that dark movies don't have a place. Trust me, it's not what I'm saying. Right. I I think they do have a place. Yeah. But something about the 90s is just, it just seemed like it was a better movie. Mm -hmm. When you finished watching the movie, you felt great. Which to me, again, do your thing. But to me, after I watch a movie, I want to feel great. Yeah. I I don't want to feel worse after watching a movie. It was life's hard enough. You know, the movie starts and you're on this high and it's everything's okay, you know, and then, then you reach reach the climax and then that's when that's everything all comes falling down yeah. and this dude or this girl's life and but then at the end everybody's happy again. Happily ever after. That's what it's for. I love it. But well we could not do we just couldn't continue without talking about canon plumbing i thought that was in the thing. <laughs> Good. canon plumbing oh yeah uh i know this is going to surprise you he is a plumber mm-hmm. clint he owns a business where they do plumbing did you say that was going to surprise me yeah it does surprise me. yeah <laughs> shocking right yeah. like uh huh. He and the thing about him is he is the best. Wait, Clint McCannon? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about a different Clint. Anyway, no, Cannon Plumbing. This entire time, <laughs> sponsors the show. You know him? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah it's yeah. all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> oh, oh. So before we before I went to San Francisco. Oh yeah. That was. Uh, why we watched Twister. So that Sunday night, we wanted to watch a fun... I don't care. I think Twister is a feel-good movie. Like, even though it's like a bunch of uh, yeah. chaos. It's still, even though the dead dies at yeah. the beginning. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Well, you're going to get spoiled right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I, no, it's... it's the movie's almost 30 years makes, old. It still makes you feel good. I'm, it's probably the oh, music. Yeah. Anyway... We watched that as sort of like a quality time thing before I left town. But I wanted to Got it. to update everyone that San Francisco, it was fun, man. Mm-hmm. I had a great, excellent time. And weather was nice too, right? Weather was perfect. It was like mid-60s, breeze, not mm-hmm. a cloud in the sky, mm. um, tons of weed smell oh, in the air. Lovely. Um, not lovely to me. No. Not to you either. Oh, that was sarcasm. Okay. For sure. It smells like a skunk. Yeah. It's just skunk to me. And nothing against you weed smokers. I yeah. couldn't care less. Right. I mean. Or everything against I, you. <laughs> but not. <laughs> I just don't like the smell of it. No, it's the same. But I don't care if you smoke it. It doesn't yeah. bother. I, don't, I really don't care. I don't smoke it. I don't like the smell. Right. We smoke cigars. There um, you go. But. Not everybody likes that smell. The thing that was great for me was that I walked or I took an Uber to the Golden Gate Bridge Mm. Welcome Center. I'll Mm -hmm. put a few pictures. And then I walked all the way. (laughs) 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 Yeah, react, do some reaction shots. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look at that. Oh, you look so good there. That's great. Nice. I walked from the Golden Gate Bridge Mm -hmm. all the way to the Bay Bridge Mm. and then to Oracle Park. 
which is like 11 miles. Woo! It was a lot. But yeah. I had tennis shoes on. Daggum marathon. And shorts. So, like, I was comfortable. The weather was great. Yeah. The view was stupid good. <laughs> right. And okay. so, you know, I saw all the things. Yeah. I went to Fisherman's Wharf and saw the seals. That nice. was awesome. Heck yeah, dude. And uh, then I went to a baseball game and saw McCulvey Cove mm-hmm. and had me a beer and a hot dog. And What was the uh, s- splash hit counter up to? Uh, when I was there, 94. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that that has to be like the season. You think so? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think Barry only had like maybe 30. Oh, really? Splash hits, yeah. Because, I mean, it's definitely way out there. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Um, I have Maybe to, he had more than that. I don't know. We'll have to look that up. Yeah. It's If you hit it past the people, it's, it's going into the water. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it's a walkway about twice the size of this table. So it's really not... It's really not that big. Okay. You looking up the splash? I'm looking up berries. He has 35. Okay, so that probably is. So that's probably total. Total. Wow, that's even cooler. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. I guess I was thinking like home runs, but that's different than <clears throat> oh, yeah. hitting it into the water. Yeah. Like but, touching nothing at all, yeah. just water. That's For those it. unfamiliar, uh, I went to Oracle Park, mm-hmm. which is San Francisco Giants baseball stadium, and it's new-ish, right? Like it's like... Mm. 2000s yeah probably Mm -hmm. um before that it was candlestick park which they called the stick and Mm -hmm. they did not like it at all uh them and the 49ers yeah shared that that's why it was awful and it was cold and apparently just just not a not a great place Had a lot of problems yeah but then this this stadium used to be at&t park Mm -hmm. now it's oracle it's beautiful but the thing is is that if you hit a home run to right field, you uh, if you hit it far enough, you can hit it into the yeah. Because there's a the big water. wall. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can hit it into McCovey. Is it McCovey? 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 I don't know. Something like that. McCovey Cove. That and sounds familiar. Basically, you hit it into the water. Yeah. And there's people. There's a guy apparently almost every game that's out there in a kayak. That's crazy. Uh, I wonder how many baseballs he has. 94. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all of them. Yeah. So that was awesome. And then I um, just got back on the airplane and came home. But I had a great yeah. trip. I remember watching, speaking of that park, Barry was going for 756, okay. I think. You're right. He was going for the record. Yeah. And I was uh, living with a bunch of dudes, and we were all watching the game. And as soon as he jacked that up, and like in McCovey Cove, there was like hundreds of kayakers just waiting for the ball, but he never hit a hit it into the uh, into the uh, cove. Yeah, he just hit it straight on. Deals and Bonds hits one high. On the all-time home run list. In the center field. But he, I, if he would have pulled on the ball, it probably would have been a splash hit. Yeah. But but he, like, hit it straight. And we all just stood up, you know. And I'm not, like, a huge Barry Bonds fan. But that night I was just kind of like, this is kind of this is kind of awesome. Yeah. Well, speaking so, of, uh, we won't spoil this because okay. it's coming out a week from when we're recording it. Right. Our friend Jared Poff. Yeah. Uh, told me not to ruin the home run derby because he's watching it today. Oh, okay. So this is a week after that, though. So hopefully he's watched it. Yeah, I was just gonna say better so, watch it. Something. <laughs> he's looking at you, Jared. Um, yeah, does he watch this or just listen? I have no idea. I don't know. Um, I think he listens, and maybe he sees the. the Either clip. way, yeah. Great friend, great guy. Yeah. Um, but this isn't about him. This no. part. I was just <laughs> going to say I agree with you. Uh huh. That last last night, home run derby was, it was boring. It's kind of a snooze fest. It wasn't bad. Yeah. Because the first guy hit like thirty two home runs, and that was exciting. 
Right. But after that, it was like, mm, yeah, this is not, this is not. The Pujols thing made the night. That If that wasn't basically. there, oh my God. Oh my, yeah. That would be unwatchable. We would have been on your front porch just sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially because there's just been like so many exciting ones. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, of course the vintage ones like Ken Griffey and Mark McGuire and mm-hmm. all those. Oh, oh. <laughs> holy cow! That may have hit the warehouse, and they announced it did. <laughs> that may have damaged the warehouse. <laughs> Ken, you said you couldn't hit the the warehouse, but you did. You got all of that one, eh? But then, like, Bryce Harper one was electric. That was great. Electric. Clock stops. Wow. He's got 30 seconds. Yes. One home run to become the home run derby champion at 18. Uh, that's high, but that's not going to do it. There it is. Center field, and Bryce Harper has thrown his bat in the air. The yeah. Aaron Judge one was electric. Uh, what's his name? Josh Hamilton. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Um, Ridiculous. Way back, Staten Island bound. Oh my hey. goodness! The Dingers guy. Hi, my name's Alfred Delia. At home, they call me Big Al. <laughs> and I hit dangers. I hit dangers. Um, of course, uh, Babe Ruth's, you know, live on the ESPN. <laughs> right. <was> really awesome. <laughs> um, no, nah, it was just nothing to it. Yeah. You know what we did miss? The excitement. Yeah. Because the, I mean, Carl Ravitch has been in baseball forever, and he's a great announcer. But last night, he just wasn't. Mm-mm. They, I think they were bored. Yeah, because they didn't know which ones went out, and I was just like, yeah. "You're there in the stadium. How did you not know that this went out?" Yeah, and you know, it's like, <laughs> so you, it's like, what are you watching? I'll tell you another thing that has a lot to do with it is I think, like, I know historically baseball has happened in the daytime, mm-hmm. but the energy is at night. Oh, yeah, for sure. And the fact that it was in L.A. and it was still daylight. Yeah. It, there, there was just People like. People were still getting there from work. Yeah. It was just, I don't know. Like I said, it wasn't bad. Yeah. It just was kind of boring. And it was like the, it was the, no, not laziness. I don't want to say that because they're not lazy. Um, It was just the. Just the calmness of the crowd, of the California crowd. Yeah. And they're just kind of like, oh, we're here. We're just chilling, just watching, sitting back. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's that California just rest easy, you yeah. know? And that's what they were doing. Yep. I mean, they got loud for pool holes, but that was it. Mm-hmm. Nobody else. Yep. You know, so maybe sooner. So, but the uh, other thing I was going to say is you're about to go to Pigeon Forge this weekend with the family. Yep. Dollywood. Looking forward to that. Never been to Dollywood. I haven't either. I actually have never been to Pigeon Forge. Mm. But I have read a lot about, I know that sounds weird to say, but I've, funny enough, read enough books. I need to read. About. About that. Like, not, not the book wasn't about it. Oh, okay. But like, um, like this Bill Bryson book, A Walk in the Woods, he walks the Appalachian Trail. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, they take a detour and they go to Dollywood, and this is like in the nineties, ninety six, I think it's what I think it okay. was. And they just talk about like it's just over the top. Oh, wow. like uh, you'll see, you'll see. Like if you, yeah. but the thing is, if you know that and you go in knowing that, you'll have a great time. I but gotcha. it's just, it's like very uh, uh, loud, and I mean, look at Dolly Parton. As a human, yeah, you know, just kind of like loud and uh, lots, lots of stuff to do, and lots mm-hmm. of like gift shops and yeah. Um, but I, I is it Gatlinburg esque? Because I've been to Gatlinburg. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think mm. Pigeon Ford and Gatlinburg are like kind of the same thing, neighbors. But 
I think Dollywood is different than all of them. Right. Uh, yeah, I could see that for but sure. I also haven't been. I, like I said, I, I've i only read about it. I think, yeah, I think Dollywood is more mountainous. Mm. Especially, there's definitely two mountains there. But Yeah, because it's near her hometown, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I said two mountains for Dolly. Oh. I, was <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I, uh, were, I slid it under the radar. Yeah. Well, that's what I do. That's how you get me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, my God. That's good. Oh, so, yeah, man. That'd be, that'd be uh, fun. Well, that story, not to bring this. Well, yeah, it is to bring this back around. But you said 96. Also, the year Twister was made. How about that? Great movie. God works in mysterious ways. Speaking of, we should talk about Twister on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Just like a complete memory lapse. <laughs> well, one thing I did want to do, one of our favorite things to do. Oh. Major there. That was awesome. <laughs> your uh your talent is undefeated. Beyond recognition. <laughs> That's a, another way to put it. <laughs> this day in history, okay. Some people die, or sometimes people die. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people don't. Uh it's true. The first one I want to do, I would like to do this a little bit differently. This oh. the first one is going to be this actual day in history, July 20th. Okay. And then the rest of them will be the day that the episode airs. Got it. July 27th. All right. Got me? First one, 1969, July 20th, Apollo 11 lands on the moon. Ooh. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Mm Mm-hmm. And they're back in Houston. What? (laughs) What'd you say? Can you say that again, Neil? <laughs> Neil, you there? Yeah. Neil. Buzz, I, can you hear me? And Neil's up there. Guys, I rehearsed this so much. <laughs> <sighs> it's one small step. <laughs> Turtles. I mean, God. <laughs> one. Oh, my God. This is one giant leap for man. Guys, I can't do it again. Dude, have you ever seen well, one of the dumbest movies ever, but it's... uh. It's called Rocket Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and, movie's great. And everybody's like, it's got made up names or whatever. It's like, Buzz Nedbit, <laughs> Apollo 13 wrecker. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. That movie. I love it's Rocket so Man. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, though, man. So that would be, you know, we got to do some math here. Mm. That would be 53. Is that right? 50. Three, yeah, I yeah. think so. Fifty-three years ago, we landed. Wow, on the moon. yeah, that's right. Uh, mm. uh, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. And you know what makes me think of? Oh yeah, we already talked about it earlier. Dumb and Dumber. What's the part in the bar? And they have the newspaper clipping hung on the wall. Yeah, and he goes out the door and he sees and goes. No, no way. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> and then he busts out the door. We landed on the moon. <laughs> Just never knew it. <laughs> uh, and that was like, what, 25 years oh, after it happened? Yeah, something like that, yeah. That's crazy to think that that was like 25 years, and now it's 53. Like, Dumb and Dumber mm-hmm. came out a long time ago. Yeah, 94. Wow. Yep. I don't like I don't like thinking about that. That makes me feel <laughs> right. That doesn't make me feel it's never good. Very young. Forever young. I wanna be forever young. Yeah. So now we're gonna move to July twenty seventh, which is today. Which is today. Day. Wink. Uh, Man, time flies. This is one of the sometimes people die ones. Yeah. So, and also very local to us. Mm. 
This day in 1996, okay, pipe bomb exploded in the Olympic Centennial oh, Park. That's right in Atlanta, Georgia, killing one person and injuring 111 in the first terrorist attack at the Olympics since the 1972 Games in Munich. Munich, wow. Mm. Now I was much younger than you, mm -hmm. so I don't remember this even a little bit. Yeah, obviously rub, I know about it, it from history, but. Did mm -hmm. you say rub it in? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember it at all. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. 96 Olympics was. No, no. I remember the Olympics. A big deal. I don't remember the the this event, the bombing. Oh, the pipe bomb? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dirty bomb. It was like filled with like screws and just like a bunch of different types of metal. Ugh. Just like flying everywhere and hitting everybody. It was, yeah. And it was pretty big, pretty big bang. I remember <clears throat> watching. It. Now, I never watched the the documentary special that they did on it. I didn't either. Um, I hear that's pretty good. I didn't either. But, um, but yeah, I, I remember that event, but I don't remember. I know it was scary. It's scared a lot of people. And I, I didn't live down here when that happened. But I was, you know, I was scared for people, obviously. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but it never like diminished like the the spirit of the Olympics because it was it was I think it was like near the beginning of the Olympics, maybe like the maybe the first or second night mm. of the Olympics. So it was it happened pretty early. Yeah. Um, from what I remember, anyway. But it, yeah, it never like. Down people's spirits. They actually, it actually like did the opposite. Yeah. Um, you know, it was before social media, so nobody like made you feel bad for trying to be <laughs> yeah, happy. Exactly. Yeah. After it something. wasn't uh, thrown into the political world and all that nasty stuff or yeah. whatever. So, um, but yeah, it was. Other than that, ninety six Olympics was absolutely fantastic and it still gives me chills i may have mentioned it on the show but when muhammad ali lights a torch oh yeah unbelievable i still get goosebumps watching that that's my memory is muhammad ali and the magnificent magnificent seven mm -hmm. that was a good one too for sure uh so next up july 27th 1909 <sighs> The world's first military airplane completed one of the final qualifying flights mm -hmm. uh, and was sold to the U.S. Army by the Wright brothers. Oh, is that right? That is correct. It is right. Wow. Okay. It's so right that it's Wilbur and Orville. <laughs> Nice. Right. <laughs> awesome. Uh, 1919. This is this one. Are, it's just interesting. Like a lot of things in history, common things in history, common milestones in history happen today. Mm -hmm. okay. 1919 was the Chicago race riot of 1919. Oh, wow. Where a <clears throat> um, young black man was stoned and drowned in Lake Michigan for swimming in the area reserved for whites. Jeez. And it... Dude, it escalated after uh, that. Yeah, I would bet. Um, 1940, Warner Brothers released the Looney Tunes animated um, short film, A Wild Hair. The reason why that matters okay. is it featured, for the first time, Bugs Bunny. Ah. Uh, uh, which is a legend. Yeah. Legendary. Mel Blanc. The Armistice Agreement ending the Korean War, signed in 1953. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, don't, lastly. Don't know a lot about that war. I haven't read up on it yet. It was in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> lastly, 2003, Bob Hope died. Oh, wow. Yep. He was 100. Wow, man. Yeah. 100. It's crazy. It reminds me of the the 
oh my gosh, the walking on the stones part in the office when they're at the lake. Mm -hmm. And it's Michael and, and uh, Kelly. Yeah. Do you know which part I'm talking about? I think so. She's like. Is that Beach Day? Beach Day. He is like. Uh, Amanda Bynes. Yes. But what was the quote? Have the have the humor of a hope or a binds, something like that. So Michael is doing these like uh, competitions because he's trying to decide who to hire mm -hmm. in his place. Yeah, and he wants to do a sudden death tribal council round, <laughs> winner take all. Yeah, he said to the aspect of my job that I think is most important, something I call the Bob Hope factor. And Kelly goes, "Who's Bob Hope?" Oh yeah, he goes, "God, he's a comedian." <laughs> and she goes, "Oh, like Amanda Bynes." Michael, who's Amanda Bynes? Kelly, she's from What a Girl Wants. Michael goes, "Oh, I love that movie." <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kelly is right. The person to replace me has to have a great sense of humor, and they have to possess the leadership qualities of a Bynes or a Hope. <laughs> <laughs> the leadership <laughs> qualities of a Bynes. Wow. So without further ado, Jim and Dwight, show us what you got. It's amazing. <laughs> Every time I think of Bob Hope, I now think of that scene. Oh, uh, yeah. But, True. <laughs> well, my friend, another one down. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Yep. Um, I think it would Pretty be sorry. great if you saw us out today as, I wouldn't say Amanda Bynes, but she's lost her freaking mind now. Yeah. I don't, That's probably not a good one. I have um, no idea. Let me look at my thing here. Maybe you can you can do okay. Hmm. You see us out as an advertisement for Dollywood, even though you've never been. Oh. Okay. Hi everybody. I'm Roscoe. <laughs> Y'all better get on down to Dollywood. And it, as as I always say, as I always say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, as I always say, if I don't light your fire, your Dollywood's wet. Hey. Bye, y'all. See ya. See ya.